Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and I like to talk about fragrance here on YouTube. So today we're doing something kind of different. Um, I know that you men out there might not have already gotten your significant other a gift for Valentine's Day. So this is going to be a fragrance gift guide for her for Valentine's Day. Um, these aren't really in any particular order of age. A lot of them can be worn for any age. However, I kind of tried to do it by price. So the lower priced fragrances are in the beginning. Then there's kind of a middle section. And then the last two I'm going to mention are like for your wife that you've been with for a while or someone that you know you will be with for a very long time because they're a little pricier. All right, so let's start with the first one. The first one is Dolce & Gabbana's Limpetrice. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this one <laughs> by Dolce & Gabbana. And I'll link them on fragrance net or wherever I can find these fragrances as well to make it easier for you. So this is a sweet watermelon kiwi fragrance. It's a very summery perfume. I think this is really great for someone in high school or in their early 20s this one is out of all of them probably the most youthful and young smelling it is so sweet i can't really see any girly girl not liking this if they like fruit especially if they love watermelon that's all i really smell when i smell this perfume is watermelon so if you're a guy and you're looking for something for your girlfriends in her teens to 20s maybe even 30s honestly and you want something that's inexpensive you can find this on fragrance net for about 30 dollars if you have a coupon which is a pretty good deal for a fragrance especially because it looks so like it looks high end like this looks like it costs a lot more than 30 dollars so i think this will impress her without breaking the bank all right, so the next one I want to talk about is a newer fragrance in the community. It is called Kaali Vanilla 28. So this is for the girl that loves sweet perfumes. I think any age can wear this as long as they love vanilla. For me, all I really get with this one is the vanilla and the brown sugar. It lasts on my clothes forever. If you have a girlfriend or a wife, it's still kind of young, useful smelling, but I think as long as your significant other loves vanilla, if they love sweet things like desserts and ice cream, I think that they will really enjoy this one. Sephora also has, they sell this little sample kit for about $25. So if you don't want to get a full size bottle of it, but you do still wanna get her something nice for a cheaper price. I think this is an amazing gift. I will try to link this, hopefully it's not sold out, but this is an amazing Valentine's Day gift if your girlfriend or significant other likes perfume. All right, so, and by the way, I'm mentioning these in order of prices for like full size bottles, like these are more expensive and then the later ones will be a little, I mean, these are less expensive and then the ones at the end are more expensive, but you can also always find um, like travel sizes of fragrances. So if you already got your girlfriends or your wife something and you just wanna like add a little something extra, you can find a lot of travel size fragrances at places like Macy's or Sephora or even FragranceNet for about, like 20 to $30 sometimes. So it's a really great way of giving someone a fragrance without breaking your budget. All right, so the next one is Musk Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. This is a pretty new love for a lot of people as well. I have a little sample here and this is what the bottle looks like. And this one is really beautiful. My boyfriend loves this one. I just get a nice musky rose with some plum. It's like a fruity musky rose. Beautiful scent, perfect signature scent. I think any age could wear this one as well. You could get away with 
being young, being older. To me, this smells like a really cool girl, like someone that is in on the trends, who has a lot of friends, who likes to gossip. Like this is just like the cool chic girl to me. This is a really popular one right now. If your wife or girlfriend is really, really into fragrance, they probably know about this and you would probably impress them if you got them that fragrance. All right, so the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. This is the original, not the intense, but I think the original is just a really classic gift. This one, I think anyone can wear as well, but sorry but i do think that this one would be great on for a gift to your wife or to your mom like it's just such a classy scent and to me this smells like a warm vanilla lavender hug that's what this smells like to me the base is the most beautiful part of this fragrance the base of the vanilla combined with the lavender from the top it's a beautiful warm like hug like to me this smells like someone's mom maybe i smelled this on someone's mom and that's why it reminds me of that but the bottle too is just so beautiful i can't imagine someone not loving this as a gift it is gorgeous the other thing about this one is it's not the strongest like most beast mode projecting fragrance most of these are pretty average projection projection but this one definitely is a softer fragrance so if you have a girlfriend that's like a shy girl or someone that doesn't like really intense fragrance on their skin I would say this one is for them Mon Guerlain by Guerlain <laughs> all right so the next one I have to mention because this was actually a gift that my significant other gave me um a long time ago and it's one of my favorite gifts I've ever received because this was like one of my first loves I've been smelling this ever since I was a child and it kind of started my whole fragrance journey so it was very special that he got it for me um but yeah this is Victor and Rolf's flower bomb I'm sure many of you are familiar with it I think that if you have a significant other that's newer to fragrance and they're just starting their fragrance journey this is such a classic perfume that I just had to put it on the list I really can't imagine any girl getting this and not loving it it's just a beautiful patchouli floral there's lots of flowers in here as you could tell by the name flower bomb um this one is a little more expensive it's around 170 dollars but again if you get a discount somewhere or you could get a smaller size i know macy's and sephora do a lot of different like gift sets for this fragrance because it is so popular so i'll try my best to link one of those for you for less money but it's just such a classic classic perfume flowers patchouli it's strong it lasts forever your girlfriend or wife will love this one all right so the next three are niche fragrances so they are a little pricier but oh i'm sorry i have one more one more designer how could i forget chanel all right so this one is called Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Now, I do have the original Coco Mademoiselle, but the reason I chose the Intense version is because I feel like it's got a little more vanilla and it's a little sweeter. So I feel like it might be a little more mass appealing to some people. It also is to me, in my opinion, it did last a little bit stronger on my skin. So that's a perk as well but I just think that the vanilla note in here makes this a more mass appealing scent so if you're shopping for someone this is probably a safer option to me but if you know your wife likes the scent of the other one I think the original Coco Mademoiselle would make a beautiful gift as well so this one is like an amber woody fragrance there's flowers in here there is 
uh, Sicilian orange, bergamot, lemon. It's a little citrusy. Rose. To me, this just smells like a classy woman. Again, I think this one would be great for your wife or for your mom if you're trying to get them something really nice. This one still is in the designer world, so it's not going to be like over uh, $200 or something. It'll be around like $150. So it is a big gift, but again, you might be able to find those nice gift sets for Macy's or something like that. Definitely beautiful, classy fragrance. Had to add a Chanel in there. All right, so these next three are niche fragrances. So this is for the girl, your significant other that is really, really into fragrance. Like they have a collection and these are going to impress them. So the first one is Passe Soir by BDK. I don't own any full-size bottles of these because I can't afford that. But <laughs> um, Passe Soir is a beautiful white, floral, woody, a little bit fruity kind of fragrance. It has some ginger in the top notes, which gives it like a little like spice or I don't know how to describe it, but it's just... Oh my goodness, to me this smells like you are the life of the party. If your girlfriend or wife or whoever is like the fun, loves life, loves everybody, life of the party kind of fragrance, Passe Soir is the one. If they're outgoing and they like sweet fragrances, they will like this one. It's a little bit of everything. It's just so beautiful. And I really can't see anyone not liking this. This might be one of the safest blind buys of the whole list. I mean, all of these are pretty safe blind buys as long as you know that your significant other likes perfume. I think they'll like any of these, but this one, oh my goodness. Life of the party, fruity, white floral, wood. That's it, it's gorgeous. All right, so I have two more. These two are the most expensive. Um, so the first one is Parfums de Marly Delina Exclusive. Now the original Delina is a, I have a little sample. The original Delina is a rhubarb, rosy fragrance. So this is the exclusive version. So Delina Exclusive is like a sweet, fruity rose. It's the same kind of scent, but without the sour punchiness from the rhubarb. I didn't choose the original Delina because I know that that rhubarb note throws some people off. I think it's gorgeous, but I know it throws some people off. So I went with the exclusive version because I think it will be a safer blind buy. So this has lychee, pear, Turkish rose, oud, incest, vanilla, amber, and some woody notes. And it is just the girliest girly girl fragrance in the entire world. If you are with a girly girl, I would go with Flower Bomb. And if you really want to impress her and go crazy, Delina Exclusive. If she's really into fragrance, she will love this. Or he, whoever, <laughs> will love this for sure. And then my very last fragrance on the list is going to be, um, I know this is very hyped up, but I had to put it on here because if you got this as a gift, I feel like your girlfriend or wife would probably freak out. It is MFK 540. So to me, this straight up just smells like burning sugar and cotton candy. So they have to like sweet fragrance. But if they are into perfume, if they have anything like Ariana Grande's Cloud, if you've seen a little cloud perfume on their vanity, get them this one. It's, it has some saffron, jasmine, amber wood, amber gris, cedar. It's just beautiful. I get sweet sugar, burning sugar, cotton candy vibes. It is... Um, just out of this world. Not a super unique fragrance, depending on where you live, but still, nonetheless, I think it's a really special one to 
gift to somebody. So I had to put it in the video. I really hope this video was helpful. Please let me know if you end up getting any of these for your significant other. They're all pretty safe blind buys in my opinion. I really don't think any wife, girlfriend, whoever wouldn't like these. They're just very mass appealing, universal sense. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye you guys.